humans, we're bound to make mistakes. But what becomes important is if or not we learn from those mistakes. So in this video, I'd like to cover five such mistakes that I made while my preparation for various competitive exams and how I learned from them and corrected myself. The first mistake I made was ignoring my mistakes as a whole. So now you know that when we prepare for an exam, we are bound to make certain mistakes while doing practice papers or mock tests. The mistake I did here was not taking an account of the mistakes that I did in the mock tests. So suppose you give a mock test out of which has about 16 questions and you get two questions wrong. What are you going to do about these two questions? Earlier, I would just leave these two questions and just look at the right answer. But that is not how you're supposed to go through with those mistakes. What you're supposed to do is make an account of it. Take a book, write down the mistake that you've done, write down the correct answer, go and read through why your answer was wrong and get information. And that is exactly how you learn and make yourself better at that subject. All these four books that you see here are completely filled and they are filled with all the mistakes that I have made in the past two years. Right before the exam, I just go through these notebooks so that I don't repeat the same mistake in the exam. My second mistake was ignoring the importance of personal notes. Now, I'm a lazy person. I was a lazy person whenever it came to taking notes or doing any extra work except for just reading the book. And I realized I shouldn't be doing that pretty late. So I think about three months before my main competitive exam, that is NEAT, I started making notes of the new things that I started reading. And I just realized that it makes everything so much easier. When you write something, it gets permanently stored in your brain because you've written it on your own. So it's very, very important for y'all to write your own personal notes no matter what you're doing, suppose you just watched a YouTube video, take a book, take a pencil and make notes of it. And after the video is over, at the end of the day, just go through your notes. It's going to be completely stored in your brain. Trust me, I did not do this for the past two years, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to start doing it from college. The third thing is revising new concepts. So when there's a competitive exam, you're bound to have questions which are out of your exact syllabus. For example, NEAT, you're definitely going to have questions which come out of concepts that you haven't been taught from NCRT or in CBSC board. So for these concepts, usually people prefer coaching. But since I did not have a proper coaching, I looked at YouTube videos and whatever those concepts were, I wrote them down. Now just writing them down once doesn't help. You are supposed to look back at that concept periodically. You're supposed to go through the same concept solve questions regarding those concepts again and again until it completely gets stored in your brain and you get a question and you don't even have to refer to anything before answering that question. That's how clear new concepts should be in your brain. So it's very, very important for you to revise these new concepts instead of just noting them down. I hadn't done this in 11th grade. In 12th grade, when I started reading new concepts from YouTube videos and from some teachers, I started revising them regularly so that right before NEAT, I didn't have to study so much. Well, now the fourth mistake is something I really need to change, which is my posture and atmosphere. What I've been doing all these years for studying was sitting on some sofa, lousy leaves, spreading all the books everywhere and reading from there where I could fall asleep at any moment. And I realized that was completely wrong. And I decided to change that behavior and get a proper study table, sit there and study with a good posture so that I avoid sleep and also for better concentration. Well, that is about posture. Let's talk about atmosphere. It, was, it wasn't until very recently that I realized that music helps me study. Until 12th grade end, I almost thought that music was distracting. It's not gonna help me study in any way. But after 12th, during the whole corona pandemic period, I started listening to songs while studying and I just realized I can sit and study for greater number of hours when I hear songs. 
it varies from person to person so it's important that you know what your perfect posture and atmosphere is for studying the fifth and final one is exercise and fresh air okay for me why this was a mistake is because in 11th and 12th i ignored exercise i ignored the concept of getting fresh air because we've been sitting in this house in this central ac with no fresh air all day and that completely hampered my ability to study the day i started exercising for at least 20 minutes in the morning or getting some fresh air for at least 10 minutes in the day i realized that i had the potential to sit for long hours and actually study my brain was fresh i felt fresh and i felt like studying once i started keeping my body healthy and my mind fresh so it's very important that you do that and take care of your physical health when you're studying for different exams those were my five mistakes and the way i corrected them so i hope this video helped you if you have been performing the same kind of mistakes then stop it right away and make a change and i hope you have a great studying experience thank you so much for watching along with that a small fyi i will be going for college admissions and i will be busy for a while so i'll keep you guys posted whenever i have a new video coming so once i'm settled i'll bring up better content i promise